guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting bring to episodes five and six of my happy marriage. Let's go ahead and get started with episode five in three, two, one, go. Very blue, kind of almost like periwinkle. So happy for you, Mia. No, you deserve everything. Mm hmm Once again, they, they're just so cute. I can't. <laughs> Am I gonna cry again? I don't know. I mean, because you know, last week with the previous two episodes, I was a mess. And I, I, I'm sorry, I did not mean to cry my ass off and getting very emotional, but I did. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. Girl, she lived a life of luxury. I like you. Uh. It's fine ass man. Fine ass man. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Oh, we know your dad loves this for you. You're the favorite out of the two. He's just like so good with it on. I, oh, <laughs> it sounds like it.
it, the fact that she's also getting ready for him. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, damn. I see what you're doing for her once again. Do it for me. Do it for me. Because she got a man that treat her right. I mean, yeah, your man treats you right too. But see, he's still a boy. Kudo is a man. A man. Oh, that look good. I'm hungry. Still. Yeah. <laughs> but still, it was the nice thing for her to do. She had to nicely decline. At least he had a good time. Aww. I think it did. The way he looks at her. Oh my god. Woo! Lord, once again, let's see what you're doing. Girl, no. Sit your, side, sit your ass down. Not so spoiled anymore, huh?
the hell is she planning? This bitch. Come on, wake up, it's okay. Saw her. Be <laughs> better now, let's just say that. Hey, talk to him. He's going to always be with you. It's again. I see what you're doing, sir. Lord Jesus. I'm gonna say is this, Koji. Do you really think being with Mio is truly gonna make her happy? She's happy right here and now with Kudo. I would rather be with freaking Kudo. I mean, don't get me wrong, Koji, like he, he fine, he cute, but he a baby. The man. Man, I'm sorry. And Kaya with her bitchy ass, like, sit down. I can see why a lot of people don't really like her. Because <laughs> the things I saw week after week with this show. Of course, her bitch ass will be right here. This fucking bitch. Like, are you really that fucking desperate, bitch? Like, I'm sorry, bitch. Name. What is a new name? She's not gonna agree to it.
Y'all are monsters. Y'all are all monsters except Koji. He's the only one who's really thinking of her and being like, oh, wait, she's better with him. But, you know, they made lunch for you. Because, girl, shit, if he was my man, I'd be bringing lunch every damn day. Every day! No, it's back at the house. Mm -hmm. Not there. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go. It's okay. It's not. There's nothing wrong. You didn't know. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. Okay. Kidnapping? You, you gone too far, bitch. Too motherfucking far. Kill this bitch. She need to go. <laughs> she need to go. Lord Jesus, let her go. Let her go. Kill him. Her and, the damn, and his damn daddy. Duty my ass. If he has to, yes.
we all know fucking Kudo gonna find out about this shit. When he find out, he ain't gonna be happy. Miss Yuri is on her way. She could be anywhere. Hmm? Okay. Miss Kaya, even though this will be the last time I'm referring to Kaya as her name. Her name ain't Kaya anymore, it's bitch. This bitch, I'm sorry, like you, because you are so desperate and because you don't want to be in a relationship with Koji because of the fact is you feel like he's a little weakling and he's beneath you, that you automatically need someone like Kudo. But the thing is, he don't want your ass. He wants Mio. He treats Mio so fucking well. So, I mean, take I wouldn't even take uh, Koji as a loss. I take him as a win as well. But because she is so... Her... Would I say lifestyle a little bit, but I feel like the way she feels like she needs to be accommodated, she feels like possibly Koji is not the one for her and such. But to go far as to kidnapping Mio, possibly putting her in a dangerous situation even more than she is besides getting kidnapped, you don't care. And the fact that Koji's dad knew for years that her family was abusing the shit out of her, making her into a servant and everything, never said or did anything for her, is disgusting. How low can you be as a fucking human to really care for somebody else? That's like, oh Jesus, let me not start. How, how I feel about not all men, because not all men are like this, majority of men, and the way how certain guys will treat people. This could be just any guy on the street, husband, father, whatever. Just the way that pe men treat not all uh, uh, freaking women in, the, in like any time. Like, damn. We just try. I'm trying to live my motherfucking life. I'm trying to do X, Y, and Z. I don't really need you to yell at me for no freaking reason. Whether I did something right, wrong, or whatever. Nobody wants to have that abusement towards anyone. Nobody wants to be treated like shit just because you had a bad day. Nobody wants to be, oh, okay, here, like, as, as a gift for this, this is all you're worth for me. Or, no, you don't need this. This ain't good for you. You don't deserve that. Like, who the fuck you is? This is why I feel like majority of women, we all hope and pray that we can meet the right guy. And like I said, Ko Koji is a good guy. Kudo is a good fine ass man too. Um, and they're both good. They're both really good caring men that, you know, any girl besides bitch would be happy enough. And I do hope that by the end of season one, whenever we, whenever the hell we get season two as well, that bitch ends up looking at Koji and being like, damn, I was so sorry for all the things I did to my sister in season one. Can you forgive me for that? And, you know, most guys would really be forgiving on that. I don't think Koji would be. I honestly want to see her not really end up with anybody. I need bitch to go sit on the side and not end up with anybody because her spoiled bratness, like, don't get me wrong, like, I am a spoiled brat too. I've been like that for... We're not going to say my age <laughs> for the uh, the long years I have been born, but I am still young-ish. <laughs> um, 
But still, I've been spoiled by my parents. But at the same time, like, I am still independent. I still like to get things for myself. I don't have to always ask either one of my parents for help, even though it is not wrong to ask family members for help. You just still have to pay them back regardless. So, like, me, my goal is to get a freaking car and such. And I, I want to do it on my own, even though my mom is like, it's okay for you to ask me or your dad for help or just me. It, it's fine. Like, even, even if we struggle, it's okay. It, it's just about being positive at the end of the day. But yeah, I, I really hope bitch don't end up with anybody else. Leave her, please. I need Koji to just be like, yeah, you know what? After this situation, boo, you and me, we done. Go find somebody else. I ain't going to be your lap dog. And I will be so happy for him. But go ahead and pause the video. And I will see you guys in one second for episode six. Alrighty, episode six in three Two, one, go. Right up. She really a bitch. Is if you know if the father knew about this, oh he wouldn't give a shit about it, of course, because the the, the dad really gives two shits about me all, and that's sad. That's your kid. I mean, cause talk about deadbeat fathers, god damn. Excuse my language. I'm sorry, but like seriously, I I mean every single time when I like oh god, mm. oh. He is upset. No.
if you hit her. You're even worse as your daughter. That's right. That's right. There you go. Hold up, bitch. Woo! I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm going to beat the shit out of this woman. You've apologized so much. You don't need to apologize to them. There you go. You say that again. Say that again to yourself. Hey. Oh my god. Yes. I mean, honestly, we should have just did that from the start. This bullshit. See, and he don't even know anything about that? Mm. Yeah, talk to your bitch of a daughter. Woo, he coming?
God damn you old geezer, stand down! For your dad? Yeah. Only. <laughs> But you're not that same person anymore. Bye. You see that, bitch? A man who cares for his fucking fiance. It was. He did so good. Be very scared. Bullshit. Be hella afraid of him right now. He knows that. Oh my god, just want this man. Let me have him. Let me have him. I want him.
Oh. Girl. He's so fine. fine. I need some drink. <laughs> I don't want no fucking tea. Oh, Jesus, Lord, that's a man. That's a man, that's a man, that's a man. Shit, leave her. Even though you don't give two shits about your sister, she still cares about you. Because you do have power. <laughs> he would be there. The way he looks at her. Oh, Jesus. Oh.
Oh my god. Once again, she living the life. She living the life that we all want. Like, oh my god, I'm so happy for it still. Jesus, fuck her sister. Fuck a bitch. Go to hell. Mm -mm. Even though Koji, Koji a good ass man. And the fact is that he was like, yeah, if you die here, Mia will grieve over you. That's a man telling you, to, okay, even though I don't really like you, even though you don't like your sister and you don't feel some type of way about your sister, I still care about you. Even though I still love your sister, I'm still going to take you. You're going to be my wife. We're going to get through this. Oh, my God. This is too fucking much. Lord, help me. Oh, my God. Uh, But just bitch and her mom beating the crap out of me. Oh, like that hurt. And her saying, you disgust me. But no, nah, that's the other way around. You disgust me! Like, hold up! Mm -mm. I have nothing else to say about them. I'm just happy Mio is home safe and sound. She's okay. And they together again. That's all I care about. I don't need bitch to be in the rest of the show. Now, the other person who just talked a couple minutes before we went back, you know, to Mio and such. Um, him? What 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 he planning out? Is he trying the cause he wants to get rid of, you know, the bloodline. He doesn't want anything he doesn't want Mio to eventually have Kudo's kid. But we all know that's gonna be the next thing for her. And something tells me because of the fact is we're probably going to see that very soon. Now, I do also love the fact that her mom did, you know, was able to talk to her. Even if it was a dream sequence or something, that she was able to get her final thoughts out to her daughter. I thought that was really sweet and very wholesome. And even telling her, like, you do have power. And she does. We all know that she clearly does. It's very obvious that Mio has something but whatever it is, we're not really going to see it until the second half of this. Because we are almost done with this show. I think I have at least, what, six more episodes left with this show? Hold on, let me look. Um, Ron. Yeah, I got six more episodes left. So, I got six more episodes left before I'm done. So, we something else is about to happen in the second half of this. And... I am curious to see what it is all also going to entail and stuff. Hopefully in the next couple of weeks we do get to see a little more like sweet moments between her and Kuro because like I can't with them. They're just so fucking adorable. Like I, I can't. I hate the fact that her fucking sister cut the damn kimono because that kimono was from him. That was a gift from him. And it's only because she wanted it. She wants to be wine and dine. That's okay. That's okay. Go find somebody else who will wine and dine your ass. You are really that fucking desperate to do the things that you did to your own sister. Your own fucking blood. And choking her. Hitting her. Cutting things up. Having your mama over here hitting the shit out of her. What the fuck is wrong with you? I thank God I ain't watched the show every single week when it was coming out. Because, woo, every, I mean, like... After this episode, I'd be real pissed at this girl, but it's okay. Bitch gonna get her ju her justice, her justice dues. Her dues. Her, she gonna get her time. It's coming. It's coming. And when it does, it's gonna be the happiest day of my life. Whether we get it by the end of this season or we get into season two, she gonna get her dudes justice. That's it. Mio is living her life to the fullest. The fact is that no matter what she did to Mio, Mio did not back down. Mia was like, I am going to stay with my fiance. I am going to be with him up until the end, up until my final breath. Baby was dead ass, dead fucking ass because of the fact that she loves him so fucking much and that she wants to be with him. She is a completely different character from what we've seen from the first two episodes up until now. And she's just growing even more beautifully. So once again, I really congratulate her on how she is doing this. She is owning her ish and she is not, she's not backing down without a fight, no matter what happens.
kids. But yeah, fuck her sister and her mother because they need to go. I need. I don't want them in the show anymore. Let them go, please. Goodbye. Get the fuck out of my face, cause girl, if I see him again, like that's like Jonas from Sugar Apple. I didn't think Jonas was gonna pop up again, and then look who fucking shows up in episodes five and six. Fucking Jonas with his with his bullshit ass. Mm mm. No 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 no. Goodbye. Get the fuck out of my face. No. But yeah, these were some really interesting episodes. Like I, I honestly cannot to see. Cannot wait to see to see what is in store next. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to be towards episodes five and six of My Happy Marriage. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episodes seven and eight. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.